Hello, I'm Greg Retke at Retke Mods, and welcome to part two of the world's fastest unibody late 2008 MacBook. Um, this episode, I'm going to film like a Colin Mister video and just show my hands. Hi. Uh, it's just a joke, but anyway, I'm not going to show my face because I want to film this as quickly as possible and setting up to film my face is a pain. But anyway, getting back to the point, today's video we're going to be taking this part of uh, this system partially apart today. Uh, we're not going to take it completely apart because after Colin saw the um, premiere of the last video, he um, stated that it's, it's running the way it should probably be running. And now that I have the fan curve set up on this, it actually does run quite well. Um, when it first boots up, the CPU uh, will peak up to around 100 degrees Celsius before the fan curve kicks on. And then the fan curve kicks on and it drops like a stone. So I think the thermal paste might need a time to cure. So in today's episode, we're not going to be taking the heat sink off. There might be a part three, but right now there's just going to be two parts to this system for now anyway. There might be a part three in the future. So right now, this is part two. Today we're going to be installing the 1333 version of the DDR3. And um, I've already looked at the um, screen switch, which is right here and the wire that goes to it has delaminated and is it's bad so i've already re ordered a replacement so when that comes in i may do a video of installing that to fix that switch um, and then in that case i might as well take the rest of the board out because you have to take half the the uh, system apart to uh, do that um, to replace that piece there um, so why not take the other half of it apart but today we're just going to set this up, swap out the RAM, do some benchmarks again to uh, see how the 1333 likes it, and then uh, we'll wrap up the video. So let's get going. And we can show you that it is running Mojave. Uh oh. Why did it shut off? Well, I think the battery just died. All right, so let's get the RAM out. All right, and we have the RAM installed, so now we can uh, put this RAM off to the side. Uh, if you're curious, this RAM actually, um, the RAM that's in this now came from my iMac, even though I said I wasn't going to take that out. I've ordered more RAM for this system, so I might just leave that RAM in there and use this RAM and the iMac temporarily. Uh, but anyway, so we've got the iMac RAM in there, the 1333 DDR3. Let's... um flip the system around here and um, we'll move the camera around do, do, do. and now I have actually um, blast the uh, partition on here so it will boot up quickly with APFS uh, quicker anyway uh, it couldn't it's a lot quicker than it was and um, it may even be quicker now with a uh, faster RAM in it. So we're going to time it with my first generation iPhone, which um, it's about, it, this came out what, a year before. It's a close design there. So we'll open up the stopwatch here. All 
We'll turn off the light. Try and get that to stand up. You can see it, so here we go. And there we go. It took roughly 54 seconds or so. Um, there's a few other background processes still loading, but the main operating system is loaded at around 54 seconds. It probably takes about oh a minute in total to boot up which isn't bad for a 10 year old system it's pretty quick and if it was running on hfs plus it probably would have cut the boot times in half but still i uh, can't do a whole lot past that um because you need apfs for mojave so we'll turn off my iphone here and we'll um look at the specs here now We'll go to about this Mac. I notice that the screen refresh is funky here. Let's see if that fixed it. Yeah, that's better. If we look here, it reads at 1333 DDR3. We'll do the system report here and go to um, where is memory? Here we go. It is running the 1333 at 1333. So the only benchmark we have that we can run that really tests the RAM out is um, Geekbench 3. Geekbench 4 is more CPU oriented. Uh, Geekbench 3, if you added more RAM, you'd get more performance. And the faster the RAM, the more performance. So. We'll run Geekbench 3 and see how it performs. So here we go. Okay, and here are the results. Um, I don't know if they're any different. Um, we'll have to compare them to the other one. We'll upload them. I may have to rerun the benchmark. Uh, in fact, I probably will now that the system's warmed up. So um, the next time you see this, it will either be these results or the next ones. So we'll see. Okay, so such as I assumed, um, the 1333 megahertz RAM really doesn't make any difference. This system probably can only address it up to 1066, even though it's pretty... Seeing it as 1333 RAM, it's actually treating it as 1066, which the chipset natively supports. So, um, yeah, it was sort of probably a waste of money, but hey, uh, I can brag I have 1333 RAM in it. Uh, but as we can see here, the score really didn't change at all. Um, this was just a, a good excuse to make a good video, I guess. Um, it really made no difference whatsoever. In fact, it almost looks like it was addressing the um, uh, 1066 um, RAM a little bit better than the 1333. As we can see here, the uh, 1066 is a little bit better. So yeah, that was an interesting video. Uh, now with the fan curve on here, uh, the temperatures are staying in check a lot better than they were. As we can see here, they're all evening out and they never get past 80, which is fine for me. Um, that means that this thing's actually working properly. Uh, like I said, the thermal paste probably needed to cure a little bit and it got nuked a few times uh, for sure. So um, there may be a part three, but as of right now, this is basically the end for now for this uh, machine. Thank you again, Colin Mister, for building this system, putting the T9900 in it. This thing flies. It even flies in Windows. Yes, I boot camp this. In fact, let's show you that really quick. Here we go. 
Um, this is actually a really old install of um, Windows 10. This was upgraded from, I think, 8.1 Pro um, when the Windows 10 free upgrade first came out. And I was running um, that copy of Windows on my 5.2, and this is just that install. So basically, it's just running Windows 10. It's an older install, but it works instantly, snappy. And it's also the wallpaper I used on the 5.2. I haven't really tested Windows a whole lot on here yet. But it does indeed work, and it works very quickly. Uh, very smooth, all the functions work, including boot camp uh, drivers here. And it works fine, you know. So, um, yeah. I'm, I'm very happy with the performance of this system. So once again, thank you Colin Mister for building this system. If you want to contact him or anything like that, uh, just click this link right up here. That will take you straight to his channel. And once again, thank you again Colin Mister for doing this. The T9900 is working great in this now that we've worked the bugs out of it. I'll still need to replace that uh, switch in here. Uh, but other than that, it's it's working great, um, you know, and it should be seeing everything, it's seeing all the RAM and task manager. Let's see here. Memory. It's it's identifying it as 1333. Like I said, I think it's actually running at 1066. But eh, what can you do? It's still cool to have it. So anyway, um, don't forget guys, I do now have a Patreon if you'd like to support me. There will be a link at the end of the video and also in the description. And also I am now sponsored by SingerMat.com if you want to sell a Mac or something um, uh, using my link. Uh, SingerMac.com slash RutkMods. Uh, that would help me out a whole lot. Uh, and uh, anyway, that's the end of today's video, and thank you guys for watching. This has been a Retke Mods video.